Hello everyone. Now I am going to discuss about application to the spectra of conjugated molecules. Application to the spectra of conjugated molecules. Application to the spectra of conjugated molecules. So before going into this a small request so if you follow my videos kindly subscribe my channel and share to your friends so application to the spectra of conjugated molecules so that means first so conjugated molecules means what right there should be a continuous conjugation that may be double bonds or whatever it is conjugated is there so that means first i am going to write a few points for this so only two points that is what length of the box is equivalent to the length of the box is equivalent to the end to end distance of the conjugated molecule length of the box length of the box is equivalent to the is equivalent to the equivalent to the end to end distance end to end distance of conjugated molecules end to end distance of conjugated molecules conjugated molecules right so here you should neglect the electron repulsion terms neglect electron repulsion terms neglect electron repulsion terms so neglect electron repulsions so in this concept it is only applicable for conjugated diene molecules applicable for only conjugated diene molecules applicable for conjugate diene molecules conjugate diene molecules so like 1 3 beta diene right so those are the conjugated molecules so length of the box, box is equivalent to the end to end distance of a so that is what end, uh, end to end distance of a conjugated molecules you should neglect the so electron repulsion so what you will have that so that is what so you should apply only for apply only for conjugated diene molecules so just i am going to write small so generally conjugated molecules means they contains a pi to pi star transitions right pi to pi star transitions transition that means if you will take here that is what here if it is a pi here it is a pi star here you should take pi here it is pi star pi to pi star transition occurs if the state is n the state is n plus 1 if you will take what is the energy change highest to minus lowest right so first you should write here you should write energy is what so here energy is equal so generally n square h square by 8 ml square right 8 ml square so here i am going to find out energy change that is what delta e delta e means this value minus again this value so in place of n so highest minus lowest that is what in place of n it contains n plus 1 you should write n plus 1 whole square into h square by 8 ml square minus here in place of n only n is there you should write n is as it is n square h square by 8 ml square if delta e is equal so 8 ml square is the lcm so you will get n plus 1 whole square into h square minus n square so from this i am going to take h square common what you will get n plus 1 whole square minus n square so complete into common is h square i am going to take constant so if you expand the a plus b whole square like n plus 1 whole square you will get a square that is n square plus 1 square is 1 so a 2 into a into b that is 2 into n you will get again minus n square this complete data into h square divide by 8 ml square so if you observe here you will get n square minus n square gets cancelled so you will get the 2n plus 1 into h square by 8 ml square in place of delta e i can written as hc by lambda right e is equal to what h nu right so that is what e is equal to hc by lambda hc by lambda that means delta e means hc by lambda i am going to take that is hc by lambda here h and h gets cancelled what you will get so you have what you have just you should write as it is 
So that means here c by lambda, otherwise directly first you should write one step. C by lambda is equal to what do you have that? Remaining 2n plus 1 into h square divided by 8 ml square you have that. 8 ml square, right? So simply you should write. So h already gets cancelled, right? So if you want lambda, so cross multiply. So this value comes this side, this value comes, this value comes. So cross multiply all. What you will get? Should just cross multiply all. So lambda is equal to 8 ml square c. So you will get lambda is equal to 8 ml square c by. So lambda is equal to 8 ml square into c by. What you will get? 2n plus 1 into h. 2n plus 1 into h. You will get. So lambda is equal to 8 ml square c by 2n plus 1 into h. You will get. If you cross multiply c into ml square, you will get this is the lambda. 8 ml square into c by 2n plus 1 into h. So, this is the important here. What you got? So, generally, you got what you got 2n plus 1 into h by 8 ml square. That is what you got. C by lambda, right? That means lambda is equal to what? So 8 ml square C by 2n plus 1 into h. So here you can write. So L means number of double bonds into double bond length, double bonds into double bond length plus number of single bonds into single bond length, number of single bonds into single bond length, single bond length plus 1.54 angstroms you should write. So this is about L value and if you will write N means N means number of pi electrons by 2. Number of pi electrons divided by 2. So these are the important conditions you should remember in this equation. So next I will discuss some problems based on this. So that is a easy problems. So first problem number 1 I am going to write. So problem number 1 is calculate the wavelength of the radiation of calculate the wavelength of the radiation of the electron so which excited from ground state to first excited state so given that so length of the box is 2L so question is simple concept only problem number 1 calculate the calculate the wavelength of the radiation Calculate the wavelength of the radiation. Calculate the wavelength of radiation when the electron is excited from when the electron is excited from from ground state to first first excited state from ground state to ground state to first excited state first excited state. First excited state. So in this, given that L is equal to 2L, given that, so length of the box, length is given as 2L, given as 2L. In place of L, you should simply substitute with 2L. What you are going to find out, so that is calculate the wavelength, you should find out the lambda. So first you should write what they given ground state and first excited state. I already told you. If n is equal to 1, that is ground state, right? What is the energy? If n is equal to 1, what is the energy? 1 square, that is h square by 8 ml square, you got. So in place of n square, h square by 8 ml square, n means 1, you will get h square by 8 ml square. Here, so first excited state. First excited state means n is equal to 2. So 2 square is what? 4 h square by 8 ml square. You will get 8 ml square. So next, so what you are going to write? So if you will write energy change, that is what delta E, E is what? So if you will write, so that is what? Highest minus lowest, that is what? 4H square by 8 ml square minus, so H square by 8 ml square. So direct, this is the 4 part, this is the 1 part. If you subtract directly, you will get 3H square by 8 ml square C. 8 ml square, right? In place of delta E, you should write HC by lambda hc by lambda here h h gets cancelled you should write lambda is equal to 8 ml square c divided by 3 h you will get 
8 ml square C divided by 3 H you will get. So that means in place of L you should substitute with 2 L you should substitute because so in place of L what you are going to take 2 L right. So that is what 2 L whole square 2 L whole square. So finally lambda is equal so 8 2 square is 4 4 8 is a 32 32 into M L square C by you will get 3 H. So this is the wavelength of the wavelength of the radiation that is what radiation of the electron this is simple so you should write the first excited state ground state this is the ground state you should take the energy difference you will get 3h square by 8 ml square c in place of length you should substitute with the 2l then you will get the answer next question is same question but the question is you should find out the calculate the energy change you should write calculate the energy change Calculate the energy change, energy change of and radiation when the electron is excited from. So that is what level I am going to give directly in place of ground state. I am giving n is equal to two to n is equal to three. I am giving three level. So question is same. Calculate the energy change of the radiation. So energy change when the electron is excited from n is equal to two to n is equal to three. So, 3 level. So, n is equal to 3 level. Given that length of the box is 2L. Same question I am going to write. Same concept you should take. So, directly they given n is equal to 2 means. Right. What is n is equal to 2? n square x square. That is what? 4 x square by 8 ml square you will get. Here, n is equal to 3 means what? 9 x square by 8 ml square. So, this is what? energy change highest minus lowest delta e is directly energy change 9h square minus 9h square by 8 ml square minus what you will get 4h square by 8 ml square 8 ml square so delta e is equal so 9 minus 4 is 5h square by 8m into in place of l again you will take 2l whole square 2l whole square so delta e is equal so 5h square by so, 2 4 is a 32. So, 8 4 8 is a 32 ml square you will get. ml square you will get. This is the energy change. Energy change for n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 3 state. This is a simple question. Same question. Again, I am changing. So, just simple. n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 3. I am giving. Question is same. Calculate the energy change. Radiation when electron is excited from n is equal to 1 that is ground state to n is equal to 3. So given that length is given as L by 2. In place of L you should take L by 2. So again write same concept. What is the concept? This you should write first. n is equal to 3 here. n is equal to 1 here. So electron is excited from 1 to 3. So 1 means what? h square by 8 ml square you will get. So here n is equal to 3 means what? 9 h square by 8 ml square you will get. 8 ml square. So what is the energy change? Delta E is equal directly you should write. 9 h square by 8 ml square minus minus what? h square by 8 ml square. h square by 8 ml square. Delta E is equal to you will get 8. So 8 h square by 8 ml square you will get. Mm gets cancelled. So delta E is equal to H square by M into what is the length? Length means L by 2 you should take. L by 2 whole square. That is what H square by you will get M into L square divided by 4. 4 comes here. So delta E is equal to 4H square by M square. This is the answer. So after finishing this, so almost we complete discussed the entire syllabus in the quantum chemistry. So this concepts is useful for the DL exams, degree lecturer exams, semester exams and competitive exams. Basic knowledge of these concepts should, everybody should know these concepts. So at the end of the chapter, that means after, so this video, I am going to give, in this video, in this video I am going to give complete unit notes in the description link. So kindly go through the description link and download the complete notes of this chapter. So if you like my video, so subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.